In Photoshop, how to create a gradient from an image. Any image. Key thing is, go to Window and Libraries. Go to the Libraries panel. Down the bottom, you've got a little plus. Just go there, click there, and you'll see Extract from Image. So Extract from Image. With that, you get this panel. Along the top, you notice this gradient. So click that. So in gradients, you can now turn around and say, oh, I want, say, seven or eight gradient stops from this image. Now, of course, it's not every single color in the image. Unfortunately, it only goes up to 15. But what you can then do is just go over there and say, I want that. Maybe I want that as the color in my gradient. Or the hair there. Or maybe down to the blue dress. And so on. You just go around and select the key colors in this image. Once you've done that, you've got a lovely gradient based on this current image. Then go down to the bottom and click Save to CC Libraries. Then we'll save it. Close. Now, of course, you could create other gradients based on that image as well. If you go to your libraries, you'll notice there you've got this little preset. And what you can do, you can right click it. And you've got options here to create a gradient preset. It hasn't created that gradient preset by default. So just click that and then click OK. And that will be added to your gradient presets. And you can find that in Window and down to Gradients. And you can then go down the bottom and you'll find your gradient just down there. There it is. But also what you can do here in Libraries, you can go to this, right click again, and you can apply the gradient. If you click it now, You'll notice what happens. Nothing happens. Reason being, if you go to your Layers panel, in the Layers panel, you'll notice this layer is locked. Any locked layer, you just need to unlock it. So just click there. Now it's unlocked. You go back to your Libraries, right-click and Apply Gradient. It will be now applied. And you can see your gradient layer, and you can modify the gradient, move it around, change it, Use all the various options in the Layers panel, such as Blend Modes, Opacity, etc. You can also do the same with other images. So if you've got a gradient already, all you need to do is exactly the same. Simply go over here, make certain it's not locked, so you can apply a gradient. And then again, just go over here to the Libraries panel. Go to the plus again, just down there, Extract from Image. So Extract from Image, go there, and then Gradients, and in Gradients now you can manipulate this. You can turn around and say, I want to go, say, eight or nine stops from this gradient. And you can then manipulate this, move that, so you get a lovely blend there, maybe blues, pinks, and so on. All kinds of different color designs can be created using this approach, maybe using that. And once you've got that, again, down to the bottom, save to CC Libraries. Click that. Then close this. Exactly the same as before, you can now apply it because the layer is not locked. So again, create gradient preset if you want to save it to your gradients or apply gradient. So click that and now you've got your new gradient. And you, of course, can now manipulate it, modify it in all kinds of ways. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Always adding new videos about Photoshop, Affinity Photo and many other applications. Bye.